Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can round the value of pi up to in decimal places. Okay, and the technique which I am going to show you, it is not only applicable for pi, it can be used for any other number as well, but the in should not be very large. Okay, in this particular technique. So first, uh, as we generally write, maybe clear all close all and CLC okay now in MATLAB to uh, get the value of pi you just simply write pi and hit enter and you will be getting the value of pi 3.1416 like this okay right now suppose I want to round the value of pi to the nearest integer I can simply write round of pi and I'll be getting as expected 3 because you can understand that if you are rounding this particular value to nearest integer you will be getting 3 right now suppose I am telling you I want to get the value of pi up to n decimal place and where n is 1 okay so that means what I want from this there is 3.1 value I want to get right so what we can do very simple see if we multiply the pi value by 10 and then take round what we will be getting try to understand this is completely logical when you are multiplying this value with 10 you will be getting 31.416 okay when you are rounding you will be getting 31 and then 31 if you divide by 10 you will be getting 3.1 which is basically nothing but what correct which is basically nothing but the value of pi up to one decimal place if I just hit enter see I am getting 3.1 don't consider this 0 0 0 this is just to fill the spaces that's all nothing else now in the same way if I say that I want to get the value of pi up to two decimal places I can just multiply it by 100 then rounding and then divide by 100 I'll be getting 3.1400 see pi value is rounded to uh, up to two decimal places suppose I want up to three decimal place like this I am getting 3.1420 like this all right perfect now suppose I want to generalize this code so what I am doing just consider the simple use case this all are nothing but power of 10 we are multiplying power of 10 we are rounding and then we are dividing by the same power of 10 right so when I want up to one decimal place I am basically multiplying by 10 to the power 1 and then after rounding I am dividing by 10 to the power 1 when I, uh, I want up to two decimal place the accuracy I am multiplying by 10 to the power 2 then rounding and then dividing by 10 to the power 2 like that that is up to what decimal place I want uh, corresponding to that uh, 10th power I am multiplying and then rounding and then dividing by the same power of 10 right so I can generalize the code like this okay so maybe in I can denote in value is the uh, up to which decimal place I want so I am writing like suppose 2 and the expected result will be round of pi multiplied by 10 to the power n okay what is n n is this particular value up to which decimal place I want divided by 10 to the power n okay just hit enter see up to two decimal place if I want this is the value 3.1400 suppose I am making n value as maybe uh, 4 okay up to 4 uh, decimal place I want the value so just I need to run the same query see 3.1416 now suppose I want up to 6 decimal place and then here if I just run see same up to four decimal place only we want because this is the format of MATLAB if we want to get more than accuracy more than four decimal place you, you just need to change the format of MATLAB okay how the accuracy you require and see here lots of formats you can get here I am choosing format long okay and just hit enter now your this particular console is converted to format long accuracy now just I am running n equal to 6 and here if I just run this particular one see up to 6 decimal place actually we are getting 1413 digits 593 6 digits okay so after the decimal we are getting perfectly 6 digits and these all are zeros which are basically filling the spaces nothing else we no need to consider this part our intention is getting the value of pi up to 6 decimal places we are getting that that's all right now suppose 
may be n equal to i want to get up to nine decimal places okay right and then if i just hit enter see one three point one four one five nine two six five four okay like this the value we are getting is it nine decimal place see one two three four five six seven eight nine up to nine decimal place we are getting the accuracy suppose i want to get up to 12 decimal place okay and see just hit run and see how much accuracy we are getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like that okay so this is uh, up to 12 decimal zero is coming at 12th index right now suppose up to 15th we want just execute the same code okay see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 like this we are getting up to 15 decimal place okay more than that again you cannot go so obviously this particular technique has certain amount of restriction okay because it depends on your computer's accuracy it cannot go long uh, as long as you want but if n value is small uh, it this particular technique can work beautifully like i have shown you and i hope that uh, yesterday we just celebrated pi day on 14th march sunday into a sunday the whether you have eaten pie or not okay in terms of cake but please just give respect this to this particular mathematical uh, discovery because this changed the world lots of com complex computation depends on the value of pi and that's why i just wanted to give you a small flavor of the calculation of the value of pi rounding the value of pi up to n decimal places okay right so i hope you have enjoyed this this is all for my this video you can explore about pi the beautiful visualizations are available in internet and just try and enjoy so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you